Do you feel tired all of the time? Do you drift through most days in a sluggish state, even if you've had a full night's sleep? Unfortunately, because fatigue has a multitude of different causes, it can be hard to track down your specific culprit. So to help you understand why you may be feeling constantly fatigued, even after that full night of sleep, I want to review with you some causes that contribute to fatigue. And look, I get it. From time to time in my past, I struggled with fatigue. And not only does it disrupt your pep and your vitality, your creativity for life, but it interferes with your relationships. It interferes with my ability to be a dad, your ability to be a mom, your ability to be creative and to work thoroughly each and every day. So let's start with the most obvious source, sleep. It's estimated that 60 million Americans persistently suffer from sleep deprivation. Even if you do get the recommended seven to eight hours of sleep each night, various factors such as your hormone levels can affect your sleep quality, which means you're not as well rested as you should be. Two key hormones involved in your sleep cycle are melatonin and cortisol. The levels of these two hormones fluctuate throughout the day and are a determining factor in your body's alternating cycle of being asleep or being awake and being vital. Melatonin regulates the body's internal biological clock and it's most active in the body in the evening at night. It's really cool. In the back of your eyes, you have receptors which tell your brain it's dark. I need to sleep. So it increases the output of melatonin. That is, unless the production is disrupted. Factors such as too much ambient light working night shifts or jet lag can disrupt melatonin production in the body, which disrupts your sleep cycle. Cortisol signals your body to be awake and responsive. It's produced by the adrenal hormones and it is ideally most active in the morning. But certain factors such as chronic stress, lifestyle, diet, other health issues, can cause unbalanced, dysregulated cortisol levels, which in turn can affect your sleep cycle. Stress is an unavoidable part of life, but when your body experiences chronic stress, it takes a toll on your health and can leave you feeling constantly fatigued. Sleep gets disrupted, your immune system becomes vulnerable, and even your cardiovascular system can become strained. Now, as I noted, stress-related cortisol spikes at the wrong time if you're chronically stressed, and it can contribute to fatigue and disrupt sleep cycles. On the other hand, long-term stress taxes your adrenal glands, which can result in the depletion of cortisol which can lead to fatigue. Your energy levels are determined by what you eat because your body converts the fats, the proteins, the carbohydrates that you eat into daily energy. Therefore, if your diet is less than ideal, it could become a cause of constant fatigue. A diet that's high in refined carbohydrates, such as pastas and white breads and sugary desserts, sweetened sodas, fruit juices, can contribute to fatigue. Fatigue can also stem from what you're not eating. If you're not eating a well-balanced diet, which includes tons of colorful vegetables, moderate amounts of fruit, lean proteins, healthy fats, and sources like olive oil and fish, you could be deficient in essential nutrients, which can contribute to fatigue. 
micronutrients like vitamin D, vitamin B12, folate or folic acid, iron and zinc can contribute to fatigue, which is why diet is so important. Let's talk about a couple of other hormones. The thyroid gland affects virtually every organ in the body. The thyroid produces hormones that regulates nearly every bodily process from how fast your heart beats to how efficiently your intestines are able to absorb foods. The two main thyroid hormones are T3 and T4. The production of these two hormones is regulated by another hormone produced by the brain called TSH, or thyroid stimulating hormone. And if thyroid is out of balance, you will experience fatigue. Now, hormonal changes leading up to during and after menopause can cause excessive fatigue. Estradiol or estrogen, progesterone, thyroid, and adrenal hormones are involved with regulating energy at the cellular level. And menopause can cause these hormones to fluctuate at random. So if you're going through menopause, make sure to get those hormones tested and balanced. A low testosterone level in men and women is also linked to long-term fatigue. Testosterone has several important functions in the body and impacts many areas of health, including bone, and muscular health, immune health, fat distribution, heart health, blood sugar metabolism, hair growth, and hair distribution in both males and females. Let's review. Sleep, important. Having coping strategies for stress or all stress, but making sure that in your tool belt, you have coping strategies for stress. If it's deep breathing exercises, if it's meditation, if it's socializing with your friends and loved ones, I encourage you to do that. Now, one trick that I have found helpful for myself, for my family members, and certainly with my patients who oftentimes come in the door with a, a list of symptoms and then they say, you know what, what I really want to focus on is energy. I, I just feel wiped out. I feel fatigued. Is there anything that you can do to help with that? And of course, we address sleep, we address diet, we address stress, and I often recommend adaptogen herbs like ashwagandha, rhodiola, holy basil, cordyceps, shisandra, ginseng, eleutherococcus, because these can help the adrenal glands to combat stress as well as be as, as relaxing as they can be and promote sleep. So adaptogen herbs, I think, are very vital and important for your vitality. I'm excited that you're learning about your health and wellness. I'm excited that you want to be more connected with your community and more creative with your community, that you're generating some mindfulness about how you feel. If your energy is at a six, that's not good enough. It needs to be a nine or 10. We get one chance at this life. And so you need to feel that pep, that vitality to enjoy life and to encourage others to enjoy life. Now, I'm honored that you're watching from all around the world. And I'm impressed that you want to learn more about your health and wellness. If you have found secrets to fatigue and stress, let me know. I do my best in research and helping my patients to help them with fatigue, to help them with stress because it is so common for individuals to come in and say, look, I am just wiped. I need more energy. Fatigue is such a common problem. Now I'm with Zenith Labs. We have a, a website, zenithlabs.com. We have a Facebook page, Instagram page. If you have not checked those out, I encourage you to do so. You will learn so much more about your health and wellness. We've also created a, 
a supplement, an adaptogen supplement called Meditation in a Bottle. Take a look at those ingredients. It's something that I recommend to patients and it's something that they notice a difference in. I believe in the original meaning of the word doctor, don't care, which means teacher. So I am here to help teach you about health and wellness so that we can become better as individuals, as a community, as a family, and ultimately that you can spread the word. So share it, like it, subscribe to the pages, make sure that you informed your friends and loved ones about how to create better health and wellness. Again, thank you so much for your time and attention. My name is Dr. Ryan Shelton.